welcome to the Circle of Hecker. I'm Lady Amaris. Now I thought I'd do a quick video driving, see how that goes. Uh, first time, so uh, should be should be interesting. I'm on my way to the uh, the out of court training that I that I'm doing at the moment. I've just finished printing out some of the the handouts, and I'm on my way to uh, set up. So I just thought I'd do a quick little video about um, just a couple of things. See if I can ram all about things and drive at the same time. It's going to see if I can walk and chew gum at the same time. I'm sure I can. Um, <laughs> all right. So when you're starting out, it can be quite daunting. You don't know uh, what to do. You've got so many people giving you. Oh, I truly do not understand why people pull out in front of other people when there's no one behind me. I don't understand that. If anyone can to tell me why that is so, then please comment below. <laughs> it's never, it's never quite uh, gotten that uh, why people do that. Unless they want someone to ram into the back of them, but um, maybe that's it. Anyway. As I was saying, it can be quite daunting when you're first starting out. And uh, you've got all this information. It's, sometimes, it's almost sensory overload. You've got so much information. It's like, who do I, who do I trust? Who's, the, who's got the right information? Who's, um, where do I look? Do I look at YouTube videos? Do I read these books? Uh, what, what do I do? And what books do I read? And it's, as I said, sensory overload. So what you need to do is really just take a step back and uh, relax a little bit. Uh, you don't need to do everything straight away. Yes, read some books. And uh, what I'll do is I'll put a few book recommendations um, up. Not right now, but... Um, I'll show a few of them. One of them that first comes to mind is the one that, that everyone um, everyone has is the Raymond Buckland's. I think this is the right story. Raymond Buckland's. It's a blue book. Uh, it's big and blue, and it gives you a good a good foundation, good idea of of certain things and where to start. But it's not, as I said, it's like it's the complete book of witchcraft. It's not the complete book of witchcraft, but it is a good place to start. Um, another one that comes to mind is Janet and Stuart Farrar's book, which is uh, The Witch's Bible. Again, great information there. They are Alexandrian witches, so there's, their uh, style would be more of the Alexandrian witchcraft style, as opposed to um, most people, I think, think of Wicca as um, Gardnerian, but um, you have both Alexandrian and Gardnerian Wicca. Uh, what else? Um, I'll put a few up just to in the down bar and maybe a few pictures of their covers just for your your convenience. So I do recommend you having a little bit of a read, a little bit of a bit of research to find out actually what it is and um, whether it is for you. Next thing I would suggest is uh, giving it a little bit of a go. Like you can read books until the end of time and know everything about a certain subject in a, in a mental capacity. But if you haven't actually given it a go and actually practiced it, then you you don't have that, that extra dimension. You don't have that, or maybe it's not for me because it, everyone... Uh, likes to think of themselves say as being able to to play a musical instrument and if you can read music and and you know you like music but it's a different kettle of fish actually getting an instrument and playing an instrument it's the same as you can read books about a certain subject let's just say um going to tibet and mountain climbing but until you've actually done it yourself you can't say that you've actually experienced you know you know everything there is to, to about that subject. You can read all the books you can, but they are not going to be as beneficial to you as 
as trying it out, as, as doing it. So my next suggestion is, yes, get a few key books and then try a few things out for yourself. Uh, most people, when they're starting out, will start out solitary. They'll, you know, they'll think things over, mull things over and, and start trying to do things for themselves. One, because they may not know anyone else who is um, interested in the same sorts of things um, and two I, yeah I know it's daunting it's you know, it's something that you, it goes to your your core of yourself your spiritual core and, and discussing something like that with someone else can be can be daunting because it's almost like showing someone your soul so when it comes to to witchcraft you you then um, you then <sighs> pick it over yourself and, and until you become a little bit more confident and then once you're a little bit more confident in yourself that this is the actual path that I'm, that I'm going to follow or this is this is my life or uh, which would be a better way of saying it not just necessarily a path there are many paths in your life um, in this uh, witchcraft should be your, your life it should be an integral part of your life your part of your DNA not necessarily a road that you travel at you know, certain times of the of the year or certain times of the day. But as you as you become a bit more confident in yourself, then you could probably have a look to see you know, who else is there. Um, if there's anyone in your vicinity that you can then bounce ideas off of, um, and um, and maybe you do a few you know, rituals together. Um, but we'll talk about that. Uh, at a later time I think that would be a, a, a separate subject but when you're first starting out read books yes practice give it a go try things out see what works for you and what does not work for you and give it a good amount of time to find out if it's something that actually does resonate with you don't just do it once and go no nah, I can't do it and then and leave that or mm, 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 not too sure um, yeah, but I'll, I'll, I'll just leave it because it's not um, it's not for me. It's the same with with spells. Doing a spell and then oh, it didn't work, so spells don't work. It, it's a similar kind of thing. You need a good amount of time to have practiced it for a while to to, to find out whether it is actually for you and whether you've given it a, your hundred percent. Whether it's just been just a half-assed kind of oh yeah, I'll just light some candles and I'll just go goddess of god or whether you've actually put the time in and thought about it and put some energy in there and you've done that in a consistent way then you can say yes um one way or the other this is this is me uh or mm, no i don't think so i think it may have just been um i was, I was playing with the idea because everyone else was uh, but it's not really my path and and that's fine on a turn and then you don't get a red get a red uh, arrow saying you can't turn almost at my destination so I'll see if I can wind it up so the main points are when you're starting out yes read some books yes have a look at some YouTube videos but do be discerning with what you are looking at and also have a th healthy bit of skepticism um, don't take everything that people say as gospel and just because someone's written a book does not mean that they are an authority on that subject. It just means that they had enough money to, uh, to publish a book, okay? So always take things um, uh, so much at face value at first until you've explored them a little bit more and then you can take them on board. Don't take everything that's written down. Um, in a book as gospel don't take everything that someone has said in a YouTube video as gospel exactly the same thing as I don't expect everyone to say uh, to take what I say because you're watching this YouTube video as gospel but what I do want you to do is have that inner what we call the, the bullshit the bullshit detector have that inner bullshit detector on on high um, when it comes to that sort of thing um, and uh, take it take your time take your time and uh, 
enjoy this experience. It's not a race. Uh, enjoy the flowers, enjoy the experience, enjoy getting, um, getting in touch with yourself and, uh, and uh, yes, I hope you have a nice day. I'm just about to go and expand people's minds and um, let's go. Cool. And uh, we'll be going through a simple little uh, banishing spell that you can do yourself and we're using limes today you can use lemons if you like